Welcome to today's class. I hope you all have coffee. I've got my coffee. I am ready for this lesson. Um, and I'm excited about this lesson today because it's something different. And we're maybe going to analyze something and, and laugh a little bit. Um, the uh, the um, comic that I've, I've got in here. So, um, look, I'm not seeing any participation. I asked if you have coffee and nobody said anything. You guys, okay. It's Monday, I know. Hello, are you all there? Okay, all right, guys. So let's start today's lesson. All right, so ons call, ons noem dit visuele geletterheid in Afrikaans. It's visual literacy in English. And we are going to um, do a few, I'm um, gonna go through a few stuff and then I'm giving you examples and then we're going to do an exercise on it, okay? so. Um, I hope you are all ready for this. So, in our introduction, um, okay, there's just a, a page that will tell us what we are going to do, which I've said, but this is always uh, one of my favorite parts of, of my um, lessons. And this is saying, old President Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And isn't that true, guys? We need to be educated to change the world. And um, as I said to you last week, if um, every if you can, if people can take everything from you, but they cannot take your education from you. You and your education are always linked to each other. And therefore, you must always enhance and make your education better. All right, guys. So <clears throat> let's um, have a look at the introduction here. Visuele geletterdheid is belangrijk. Visual literacy is important. For all in vandaagse wereld, especially in today's world. Dit help ons om sin te maak van die wereld om ons. Ons leer om media te interpreteer. Guys, it helps us to make sense of the world around us. And it helps us um, to, to, especially in, in the media world, visuele geletterdheid het al reeds begin toe jy baie klein was. Guys, it's saying here that visual literacy actually started when you were very small. Um, for instance, in your storybooks and pictures and, and stuff that your mom showed you, um, all your little baby books and so on, that is visual literacy. Um, one of the key, uh, key stuff is, for instance, your baby photos. That's also visual liter literacy. You're seeing stuff and you're interpreting stuff. Okay, so let's go on there. Now, visuele geletterdheid begin, uh, ons begin hierso, met wat is dit? Visuele geletterdheid, there is a proper definition of it that I got. I gaan om eerst vir julle in Afrikaans lees. Visuele geletterdheid is die vermoe om te interpreteer, te onderhandel en om betekenis te maak van inlichting wat aangebied word in die vorm van een beeld. Die term verwijs na een weier interpretatie as blootgeskrewe uh, of tekst. Visuele geletterdheid is gebaseerd op die idee dat foto's kan gelees word en dat betekenis oorgedra word in die proces. Guys, that's a very long and informal definition. So I actually translated it for you. Visual literacy is the ability to interpret negotiate and make meaning of information presented in the form of an image. This term refers to a wider interpretation than simply, than simply written or text. Visual literacy is based on the idea that photographs can be read and that meaning is conveyed in the process. In other words, guys, we, uh, with visual literacy, it teaches us that not only words can be read, but um, pictures, and uh, advertisements and so on and so forth can also be read. Now, the first thing is, this is a, a slide that shows us what can be seen as visual um, interpretations. For instance, um, there is a painting, traffic signs, a, a world map. I don't know how many of you play computer games in these comics. Um, TV programs and advertisements, and then guys, also jokes um, is also, of course, um, all examples of, um, of visual literacy. You guys are very quiet this morning. Let me all just have a quick hi there. Just say good morning so that I can see, um, because I'm afraid now you're not hearing me. Let me see. Are you all there? Say yes. 
Let me hear. Come on, guys. I want to see. Can you all hear me? Okay, so, okay, great, great. Okay, guys, I'm so happy to see that you are all here. Okay, so um, as I go along, I'll translate it to you if I can think of the word really quickly. So these examples of, of visual literacy, tekens, uh, symbols, guys, pot tekens, road signs, brochures, brochures, placata, graffiti, art is also a way of, of um, visual literacy, grappe, Spot printer advertenties and um, spot printers comics, strokies print and verhalen, printer, TV programme, symbols, spielekies, schilderij in teken and guys. So that is all examples of visual literacy. And that's a very nice thing. You, all, you don't need um, too much words when you see all of this. You, you, it's like you already understand it. Okay. So Strokies printer is the first thing that we're going to focus on now. So let's see here. Um, strokies printer. And this is now a lot of words. So I need you all to concentrate. So if you've got a comic strip, let me just go to that. So that is a strokies print here. Look at this. This is a strokies print. Right. So when we look at a comic strip, let's go back. We must have a look at stuff like, if you have a comic strip, we must look at the position and size of the characters. Position and grootte of the characters. The grootte character is generally the belangrijkste. So if you have a comic strip, we must look at the position and the, um, and the size of the character. If the character is usually um, drawn very large, then we know that he's uh, the most prominent character. So that is a nice one to remember. Then, Visuele aspect is soos lijne, wat die karakter se beweging aandui. Which is visual aspects such as lines that indicates the movement of the characters. Um, so you'll see that we'll be talking about um, when I show you the comic strip again. So we have a look at, um, uh, at the, the lines that, that moves to the character. And then the third one, die kleren wat gebruik word. En die kleren van die karakters. Hoe donkerder die kleren, hoe donkerder is die karakter gewoonlik en andersom. In English, the colors used and the clothing of the characters. The darker the colors of the clothing, the darker the character's character is, and vice versa. So, um, Savannah says, sorry ma'am, I have to go. It's okay, Savannah, I'll see you tomorrow then. Um, okay, so guys, um, there you go. So, you also have to look at the colors and the uh, clothing that the characters are wearing. Then a very important thing, and you always have this, uh, most of the time, teachers like to ask this next one in, in, the, um, in the exams or test. You must have a look at gezichtsuitdrukkings and leeftal, which means faces and body image is something that you have to look at when we do a comic strip. And then who, who is the good characters and the bad characters, and how are they portrayed? Wie is die goeie karakters, die slechte karakters, en hoe word hulle uitgebeeld? And then, who the characters in the realm geplaatst worden? How is the characters, the characters um, in the frame? Where are they put in the frame? And then, listen to this one. Skrif, letters, se groote en hoe dit gedruk is. So you must look at the, the font that they use, the letters, the, um, how big the letters is and how it is, um, how it is printed. Is it italics or bold? And then, the most important part is the message, the boodskap of this, um, of this um, visual. I just want to quickly see, are you all still with me? Please give me yeses there. And then take a picture of this slide because you're going to need it for the activity. Please take a picture of the slide. You're going to need it for the activity.
Well, Mapele, are you not counting for us today? I love it when you count. It's always really funny. Okay, guys, so then I'm going on. Now look at this comic here. I've tried to make it really big for you guys. So this is a boy in class. He looks very old. And then um, this is the teacher. And then Afrikaans, uh, well, the comic's name is Meester, Master. And in, in the very old days, they used to call the teachers Meester. Um, so um, this is then what it's saying. Look at the, there's the teacher and there's the child. I'm going to read you what the teacher says. This is a belangrijk, this is work that you now on your rekenaars do. This is the most important work that you're doing on the computers. The period is after now for The period is, um, is now um, over. Save um, your work so that you more can go on. Save your work so that you can go on with it tomorrow. Then the boy sitting there. I'm not, um, I'm not being able to do it. And then he looks at his teacher or oh, his friends. Hi, weet een van jylle dalk hoe syve men solitair? So he's asking, does anyone know how you save solitair? Okay, so he um, wasn't paying attention, he didn't work and he was playing cards there. So I hope you all understand that. So that is just a, a little joke there. Let's have a look at the questions. Now I want to see participation, you know me by this time. So I'm going to put the chat box here for, um, so that I can see. I'm going to ask questions and I want the answers, please. The first question. Beskryf die onderwijserse gezichtsuitdrukking. Please tell me what you see in the teacher's um, face. Uh, how is his face being portrayed? Is he, is he angry? Is he serious? I want to know. He's angry. Okay, and then why do you say so? What tells you that he's angry? I would also say he's very serious. Look at the, look at his, his finger. He's telling them, um, yeah, I'm grumpy. That's a good one. He's grumpy. He's a real grumpy teacher. Very serious. It almost seems like he's not, got no sense of humor. Name. Good, you guys are with me. Number two, what a mooi word wees for save in Afrikaans? Now you must think. We all say, always save your work, save your work. But what would a nice Afrikaans word be for save in English? Let's see if somebody can do this. Google Translate, maybe. Maybe you know the answer already. What a mooi word wees for save? A good word for save in, in Afrikaans. <laughs> yeah, I think take your time. We've got an entire 40 minutes left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have to do that. Uh, I was planning on maybe doing it later on. Take, take your time. A nice word for save in Afrikaans. I'm going to give another minute or so. Okay, so from Apelli says handing in your work. Okay, but um, let's see an Afrikaans word for save. If I say to you, save your work on the computer, then what will you think? How, how can I make that sentence in Afrikaans? Thank you for trying, from Apelli. So Angelina, you have got it. The nice word for this would be stoer. So I, um, the teacher must have said stoer jylle werk so that jylle more daarmee kan aangaan. Stoer jylle werk. Good Angelina, very proud of you. 
Okay, number three. Describe the scenes in life. Don. Describe the, the boy's body language. Describe the boy's body language. Try in Afrikaans, please. I want to see. But um, and you're more than welcome to use an um, English word here and there. Describe the scenes in life. Don. Describe the science and life talk. Describe the science and life talk. Tiana said, lie in field. Absolutely. That is good ways of describing. He's very lazy. He's bored. What else? Let's see. What else can we say? He looks tired, yeah. Look at his eyes. He looks tired. Lazy, fulfilled. Said no, Gumapelli says no. Gumapelli, you are correct. Okay, number four. What noem a mens die leesteking aan die einde van die tweede raam? What do you call that? Um, that um, leesteken op punctuation there at the end of frame two. I would love if you could give me the, um, the Afrikaans word, please. So I would suggest if you know the English, go and Google Translate it so that you can see um, the English um, English um, of the Afghan's name. So what is, okay, Tiana says, repeat. Um, Tiana, I'm asking, what is the um, punctuation that you see at the end of uh, frame two? Akkrijdet nie, reg nie, and then there's, there's three dots. What do you call that in Afrikaans? What do you call that in Afrikaans? Google Translate that. What do I call that um, punctuation? Okay. Uh, Tiana, it's fine. Maybe you know the English word. Then you Google Translate the English word so that we can see. Thank you, Tiana. You're participating. You and Angelina Gumapele, I love it when kids participate. You guys must all participate. In this class, you, you, you may give answers. There's no, um, no reason for you to be shy. It is called the ellipse. And the fancy, fancy word for that in Afrikaans, but that's not something you need to know now, is a, a beletsel teken. That's Angelina, a beletsel teken. Well done, you guys, you are so cool. Thank you. So <laughs> I wanted to say beletsel teken and then um, Angelina, she, um, she just said it before I could. So thank you. It's called an ellipse or a beletsel teken. Then the last one. What er afleiding kan ons van die strookies print maak? What, um, what can we, um, what's the, the message? Let's see the message. What are message cry on this? So what's the message of this um, of this um, stroke sprint? Try again in Afrikaans, even if it takes a while, try and write an Afrikaans sentence. What is the message? What is happening in here? What would you say is the message? What's happening in here? 